Bathing at sea sounds like it should be simple. Just use seawater. Well, it's not quite that easy. Regular soap doesn't work in seawater. Soap is made out of sodium hydroxide mixed with fat. The salt in the ocean water mixes with salt in the soap and causes all kinds of trouble. The soap won't lather. It won't dissolve. It might even make a scummy mess that only makes things dirtier. Sure, the ship could carry some fresh water. The problem is that water is bulky, heavy, and takes up a lot of space. A bath also uses a ton of water. A single 5-minute shower using an old-fashioned shower head takes up to 50 gallons of water. So, how did sailors bathe? The easiest answer is specialized soap. Soap can be made of potassium instead of sodium hydroxide. It won't solidify all the way like normal soap does, but at least it won't react badly to seawater. Potassium soaps were used by the Germans during World War II to allow them to bathe in submarines. And the Americans? They just decided to make fresh water. Evaporators and distillers have been in use on ships since the 1800s. These machines boil seawater and the resulting steam is condensed into fresh water. Every few hours, the used salty sludge is thrown away and fresh seawater is added to keep the cycle going. The main problem is that running these machines takes resources and produces very limited water. Water is used for a lot of things on a ship, from keeping the engines going to preventing the crew from dying of dehydration. Things like laundry and bathing are lower priority, so less water use on them is always a good idea. Enter the Navy Shower. This style of bathing works in three phases. Phase 1 allows the water to flow for a moment or two to allow you to get wet. During Phase 2, the water is turned off so you can lather down. Phase 3 turns the water back on for a few moments to let you rinse clean. Depending on how tight the water rations were, a sailor might not be able to bathe for days or even weeks on end. According to World War II veteran Michael Skurat, sailors had a simple answer for this. Talc, deodorant, and lots of aftershave. Lilac talc was the ship favorite as it was cheap, plentiful, and didn't smell bad on guys. Of course, every ship was different. My grandfather's ship got creative. Each sailor was given two buckets. One was filled with warm, fresh water. The other one was empty. The sailor would stand in the empty bucket, and from there he would use a cup to ladle out warm water onto his body a little at a time. He would wash himself with a rag and some soap and then rinse himself clean with cups of water. My grandfather liked to call this a sailor shower. Once the sailor was done bathing, he was expected to turn the bucket of water back in. Old bath water was used to clean the ship and do laundry. This cut down the cleaning water by half, allowing for more frequent baths for the sailors. Modern sailors don't have to bathe in buckets, but limited baths and navy showers are still the norm for ocean voyages. Even with better desalination equipment, fresh water is still limited while out at sea. So, if you know someone who is ex-military and always takes a really short shower, now you know why!